My name is Diane Meyer. I'm a professor in the departments of geriatrics and palliative medicine. My job is focused on trying to make this new specialty of palliative medicine be the standard of practice for medical care for all persons with serious illness. I would say that my relationship with my grandfather influenced my decision to go into medicine in the first place and then to specialize in geriatrics in the second place. When I was an intern and a resident and was taking care of a lot of older people in the hospital, it really helped me to remember that any one of these people could have been my grandfather and that really helped me to keep focused on the patient as a human being and as a person. On my first day of medical school, one of my fellow classmates said, you took a slot away from a man. You got in because you're a woman. Fortunately, I had the presence of mind to say back to him, I got in in spite of the fact that I'm a woman. Having um, a woman as a mentor opens the doors of possibility. The fact that someone several years or even decades ahead of you in training and on the career path is accomplishing these things says, without even being consciously aware of it, oh, I could do that. I think mentoring actually is the key to professional development and professional success. I consider the most important part of my job right now. There's nothing more important than helping the next generation to succeed if any of our work is to bear fruit in the decades to come. Mount Sinai is a great place for women entering the field of medicine or medical research. There are so many exciting people and projects and initiatives going on here. It's an incredibly rich environment. Different types of people bring different perspectives and ways of looking at problems. And we need all of those perspectives. Some of the biggest challenges our generation and several generations have ever faced are, are happening to us now in healthcare. And it's going to take the ability, the skills, the insights, and the perspectives of every single one of us, men and women, to overcome these challenges.